Hello everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video and in today's video I want to show you my finished music journal the first half of the year. Uh, when I started this journal I thought that this will be enough for until the end of the year but well as you can see it wasn't, it wasn't even enough until end of June, I think it's kind of like mid-June so I had to start a new one and I already did, already started a, a second music journal, second part of, of this journal. I, uh, I just took the same kind of notebook as this one, so this is part one and this is part two and now I'm working on this one, I'm still catching up, I still have to fill quite a few pages here still from June because in June there were really really many concerts uh, but this one is already finished so I decided that I will show you this journal this finished music journal and this is basically my journal for documenting all the concerts, festivals and everything music related and music is very important for me and it's a big part of my life and I go to many concerts and I like to keep memories about those concerts in one place and I'm doing this already for many years just in different a bit in different form in different format I already have many music journals albums with tickets and stuff like that and this year it looks like this it's a bit different than last year but anyway it's still the same it's basically a place where I document uh, all the concerts that I went to, keep the tickets from the concerts, print some photos that I took during the concert, basically everything music related. So I started this in January obviously and uh, I also started to write down uh, the most listened songs of each month, basically in the end of the uh, month. I write a list of the most listened songs uh, and also I started to print this kind of stats uh, from Tidal and that's the streaming platform that I use for listening to music it's kind of like Spotify but I'm not a huge fan of Spotify and I use Tidal instead it's very similar to Spotify and uh, in the end of each month you can download there this uh, little top five like my top five artists of the month and who was your top streamed artist of the month with like how many streams so I started to print out those uh, stats because it's something interesting for me I really like all those different lists and stuff like that so I started to do this um, this year actually and also just write down a list of the most listened songs. So this is January and this is February and in January I didn't go to any concerts. Um, first concert was in February, it was Toxic Holocaust in Malmö and probably if you are not into metal then you don't know most of these bands, most of these names. So I won't go into detail very much, I just want to show you my pages that I made about the concerts and maybe it can inspire you to make something similar about the concerts that you, that you go, it doesn't matter what kind of music you listen to, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, if you also want to document your concerts and festivals and whatever, anything music related, I hope that this journal can inspire you regardless like of what kind of music you listen to. So this was the first concert of the year uh, in Toxic Holocaust in Malmö. And then next one was Dragon Force in, Cop in Copenhagen and uh, also in February. And sometimes I make one spread for the concert like this, sometimes it's two, it depends how much I want to write, how many pictures I want to print. And here I also made a spread with my favorite albums of February and just decided to write down some of the albums um, that I listened to the most and printed the album covers. 
and my wrote down also my favorite songs from the albums. I did this for some of the months, like not every month, but for some. This is already March, so again this kind of title page with the most listened songs in March and this uh, top top five artists and also uh, here I made a page about favorite albums and all these albums came out in March actually. These are like new albums and I really liked them. So this was the first concert in March. Suicidal Angels in also in Copenhagen, then the Halo Effect in Hamburg. And here I also have even paper tickets from this concert. It's very rare now to get actually paper tickets, but this concert was in Germany and I think in Germany you, you can get paper tickets for most of the concerts, but in Sweden it's mostly digital. And this is uh, another Halo Effect concert in Berlin, also even some paper tickets. And I also made a spread about a rock, rock metal bar in Berlin that I really, really liked. And this is another Halo Effect concert. Uh, this one is in Munich and the, there is only one ticket because uh, only my husband went to this concert and I was in the Netherlands at the time and I went to this concert with my friends. This was in Den Haag, uh, Extermination Dismemberment and also Suicidal Angels concert, another Suicidal Angels concert. And it was really, really, really great. And then there was Orbit Culture concert in Malmö. There are very many concerts in Malmö and this is like the closest city to where I live, where I usually go to concerts because there are not that many events and concerts in my town because it's a very small town and Malmö is the, like the next bigger city and usually all the concerts happening there or in Denmark in Copenhagen which is like just over the bridge and also quite close to where I live so local concerts for me are usually in Malmö or Copenhagen and then there was bullet concert and actually this one was even in my town in Christianstad which is very rare and this is April already so again I wrote down here all the most listened songs and also my favorite albums of April. Uh, then there was Blind Guardian concert in Gothenburg and I also even have paper tickets. It was a concert in Sweden, but I don't know why we even, how and why we even got these paper tickets, but I have paper tickets here. Then another Orbit Culture concert also in Gothenburg. This was another local concert in my town, just a few local bands uh, and it was a free concert with just some kind of uh, concert organized by the city, um, a few local bands, it was really nice. Then uh, it, this, this is already May, again my most listened songs and favorite albums of May and in May I went to two Metallica concerts in Munich so this is the first one and this is the second one and I also added here all the stickers from the tattoo studio uh, where I got my Metallica tattoo it's also kind of music related so I decided to include it here and this is June also all favorite songs of June, most listened songs of June, quite a long list and I think I didn't make a spread with favorite albums in June, just the most listened songs and the first concert was Judas Priest in Tampere and then Metallica concert in Helsinki, first concert, this was the first concert and this is no, then there was uh, another concert in between, so it's like three days in a row <laughs> with concerts, which is kind of exhausting, but also really great. And so this was Apocalyptica concert in Helsinki, and then second Metallica concert also in Helsinki. 
Oh yeah, and I also added here uh, some pictures and stickers from the bottom bar in Espo, also in Finland, where we went to on the next day after Metallica concerts. It's also kind of music related because it's a bar that belongs to two former members of Children of Bottom. So, and it's like a bar and kind of like a little museum of the band. And so I decided to add all these um, photos and stuff from it also to my music journal. Yeah, and this is the last page and this journal is finished. So as you can see, it wasn't enough even, even for half a year. I still have quite a few uh, concerts that, and festivals that I have to document from June. So this is already my second music journal. And it's kind of almost half full as well. And it's only, only June. So look at this, it's already really almost half full and I still have to finish some of these pages and journal about it. I just started this journal so let's see maybe I will need even third music journal <laughs> for this year. This year is kind of crazy when it comes to concerts but it makes me really happy because I really love to go to concerts. This journal is a collection of this uh, special and precious for me concert festival memories and everything related to music because music for me is magic of, of our world. It's something really, really special, something that helps me a lot in my daily life. Always music is there for me. It's something that makes me happy always. Um, so yeah, I hope that if you are also into any kind of music, if you love to go to concerts or if you want to make some dedicated journal to it. So I hope this was helpful for you and inspiring. Maybe you can start your own music journal and document your own concerts or just some music related things. And I have really many different music journals and albums and this is just one of the options. One of the versions, like this is this is what I do this year. It's kind of different for me every year. This is what I do this year. But in case if you would like to see my old music journals and albums, let me know in the comments and maybe I will make another video about it and will show you my old music journals and how they evolved and how my older music journals looked because I do this already for many many years basically since I started to go to the concerts like from maybe 16 years old or 16 or 17 years old and since then I started to do some form of this journal uh, because I wanted to keep all those memories and tickets in some special dedicated place, not just in the box. So I started to do this really long time ago and over the years it changed a lot the way how I do that, but still I love all my old music journals and albums and will be happy to share them with you as well in case if you are interested. But for today that's all what I wanted to show you. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye!